Okay, for 7b, I'm going to read this. Uh, suppose you're headed towards a plateau 50 meters high. If the angle elevation to the top of the plateau is 20 degrees, how far are you from the base of the plateau? Okay, so here is the scenario. Okay, so we're going to draw a triangle. It says the angle of elevation to the plateau is 20 degrees. Okay, and the plateau, it says, is 50 meters high. Okay, so it's 50 meters there. It says, how far are you from the base of the plateau? That means that you'd be solving for x down there. How far are you from the base? That would be that. So that would be the setup for this problem. We want to pick a trig function that relates all that. Uh, angle elevation is already measured from the horizontal, so we don't have to subtract anything with that. We can just keep the, the triangle drawn the way it is. We're going to pick a trig function that relates. Now this, we have an opposite side. So a trig function that relates, relates the opposite side and the adjacent side would be this one here. You're going to use tangent again for that one. So we're going to do tangent, 20 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, 50 over x. We're putting the x on the bottom this time because the definition says opposite over adjacent and we label the x as adjacent. So that's why it's on the bottom this time because of the definition for tangent. Cross multiply, x tangent 20 degrees is going to equal 50. We want to divide both sides by tangent 20. We get 50 divided by tangent 20. And we put that in the calculator. It says round to two decimal places this time. So it will either tell you round to the nearest whole number or round to a certain decimal point. So pay close attention to the instructions on that. So it says round to two decimal places. That means that's going to be 137.37. That would be in terms of meters since the height is in terms of meters.